What did you learn about yourself as an actor while filming this project? I learned that uh, sometimes if you hang around long enough, your dreams will come true. And this series was one of them. Unquestionably, one of the great experiences I've ever had, ever. And I've been doing this for a long time. This, well, was, this was, for me, as good as the work I've done with Wes Anderson. He was wonderful to work with, and so was Mike. Same thing, a family feeling. What was it like filming on location for four months? <laughs> Well, you got to go to Sicily to find out. It's a very particular people. You know that volcano is erupting all the time. Yeah, Etna is smoking. And sometimes the lava's coming up, and the people just go about their business. They go about their lives. It's a part of them. And that contributes to this explosive, volatile feeling in this absolutely beautiful area. You have to go. What would you say has been the most memorable part of being a part of the White Lotus production and story? But the most memorable part is, um, hi, thank you. Wow, what a, what a moment of love. What? Wow, and his photo is on it. His photo is on it. Wow. Um, no, um, no, uh, um, the most memorable part. The most memorable part of it. Part of White Lotus. No, I know. I love that you're like. I mean. Oh, I thought you. Were no, I was just trying to think of, of um, like you know, acting moments. You know, when we were acting and, and, and you know you know how exciting some of those moments were because we were in these like incredibly dramatic surroundings and stuff. Yes, but I have to say, um, you know, being in Sicily with Mike White. And the cast, and you know, I know a lot of them. You know, I know a lot of the people. I know John Grice, you know, from last year. You know, um, and um, I made some new Italian friends. But um, uh, you know, it's riveting to be in another country and experience something. And you're on a job, and uh, it's really smart, cool people that uh, you admire, and their conversations are so good to be part of. And you know, you want to stay up all night and talk to these people forever. I mean, I don't know. It's, it was, um, yeah, it was just like the pinnacle of my career, for sure. I mean, just uh, uh, personal experiences and career, just both. It just, uh, this was my favorite year. Yeah. How did you prepare for the role? Um, I mean, I guess, like, you know, really just reading and sort of thinking about the scripts. We had some conversations early on uh, with Mike about the character and about the couple and, you know, their journey across the series. Um, I mean, I did try to do, like, Ethan goes on these crazy runs up a very steep hill in Taumina. So I started trying to do that. The first time I did it, I thought I was going to die. Uh, and then gradually it got a little bit easier, I guess. But I, just, I mean, he's quite an internal character at the beginning. He sort of changes as, as things develop. but. I wanted to sort of try and understand like where's he at, like he's, he sort of internalizes everything and then seems to carry it on these runs. Um, but yeah, that kind of thing, I guess, and just the usual learning lines. Yeah, <laughs> what would you say you learned about yourself as an actor while filming this role? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know. I mean, like, it's my first time on like a sort of an American show, I guess, um, so that was fun. Um, and. I mean, in some ways, like, there are parts of this series where it really did feel like we had to make ourselves kind of raw and vulnerable, and that was, um, you know, hard, but in a fun and rewarding way, ultimately. So I don't know what I learned exactly, but I definitely felt like um, I did learn from it, if that makes sense, yeah. Well, would you say your, your character's favorite song is? What's my character's favorite song? Uh, I'm going to go The Power of Love by Jennifer Rush. I don't know why, that just popped into my head. <laughs> what did you learn about yourself as an actor while filming? What did you learn about yourself as an actor while filming? Um, I learned, I definitely learned a lot from Michael and Murray, who play my, my father, my grandfather, that, you know, no, no matter how many awards you have or how, how established you are, how old you are, you know, a lot of actors deal with the same kind of thoughts of preparation and insecurity and, and, and finding the character. You know, the process never changes, depend, no matter what the project is. What has been the most fulfilling part of this process? 
Um, I mean, for, for sure, like, first of anything, to be part of this amazing project with this amazing writing, it was incredible. And at the beginning, I was a bit nervous because I didn't know if I could live up to that level. Um, but I, I got to play music in it, and everything was live. And I worked with Hesty Haim, that she was my like vocal coach, she was there to support me, and that was the best thing. That was the best thing in the world.